everybody, welcome back to Battle for Azeroth. My name is Necroxus. We're continuing on with Drustvar in Kulturas. Last time we had an extensive witch trial, um, but we managed to clear Lucille Waycrest's name. And now we're going to go save her father, um, Lord Waycrest, who's been captured by the Drustvar and the witches. And so we're going to meet her here on the road. So here we go. Good day to you. Good, you're here. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to have an easy path to our destination. It would seem that the Guard have been lax in patrolling the High Road Pass. The Mountain Yetis have taken advantage of their absence and now lie directly in our path. I am no soldier warlock, so I will need I will ask you that you take care of them while I try to sneak past. If we can drive them off the road, at least it will make the pass safe for the travelers again. Salvage rights. This poor traitor was set upon by the Yetis. There's nothing we can do for him now, but we would be remiss to let his supplies be laid to waste by these brutes. See if you can find any supplies worth salvaging. You can use Bella as a pack horse. Don't worry, she's a brave mare. She won't spook easily. See you around. Bella, I need you to follow this one and carry the supplies they find, okay? Come along, horsey. So we're just gonna kill a bunch of yetis and get supplies? Get wrecked, yeti! You have to kill ten yetis, chill for yetis, and get a bunch of supplies. Alright, I'm gonna do that and then we will keep on going. Alright, we're done. We're here with Lucille. How are you? I'm impressed. I didn't think this would be there would be this much left from the shipment. This would be very helpful to our men at the gates. Bella knows the way, so she'd be able to keep she should be able to get to them. This place is too dangerous to keep her hitched up anyway. Um, I guess I'll take this. Yeah, ride to Aram Strand, Bella. Thank you, Warlock. Keeping the pass clear will ensure a steady stream of supplies to High Road Gate. We will need them in the battles to come. Our diversionary tactic. Our des or excuse me, our destination is in the cottage up ahead. It doesn't look like it look like much, but a great deal of history is inside. First, though, we'll need to deal with that massive Yeti camp just outside. I'd hate to ask it of you, but I'll need you to draw its attention so I can slip inside. Once you've taken care of him, I'll meet you within. See you later. Okay, let's get him. I'm not a scared. I ain't a furred. It's just another random Yeti. Frost Mange. Easy peasy, he's almost dead. Alright. And he's gone. Why is this such an important cottage? Are you going to tell me? That was close! I'm glad to have such a capable warlock as my guardian. I would hate to be your enemy. I did kind of destroy the, um, the devil of the universe. Or helped imprison him, at least. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you here. Located somewhere inside this cottage is a hidden door. If we can find a way to access it, the answers to your questions and possibly our survival against the coven should lie beyond. Help me search for it, Warlock. See you around. I can't believe we're here. My father used to tell me stories about this place. It contains an ancient secret for our house from back when the Waycrests first settled this land. We need to find the entrance. Pull the torch. Oh, that was it. I wanted to try the other ones. That's it. The way is opening. Hey there. Have a good one. Okay. Where? You need something? You find it. I knew they were more than stories. Come, let's see what's inside. What lies beyond are more ruins, much like these covens sought. However, these ruins serve a different purpose. One that establishes established the legacy of House Waycrest thousands of years ago. Let us head inside, and I will explain. Ex escort Lucille Waycrest into Golvar. Safe travels. Long ago, when Kulturas was first settled, our people encountered a savage group of warmongering barbarians. They called themselves the Drust. Drustvar was their ancestral home. It was from here that they launched endless raids into our fledgling hamlets. They carried on for countless years until the ancestors of Waycrest decided that something had to be done. Oh shit, what? So we created a mini dark portal to another universe... Wait, what was that? Are we gonna be trapped in here? Oh! I can't tell. These, are, I believe, these are supposed to be like bone, bone elementals. They're like, ele they're like bones reanimated. I guess not elementals, but reanimated bones. I'm sorry, warlock. The coven's magic is disturbing the spirits of the ancient drust. We'll have to be careful. My ancestors fought against stone constructs much like these in these world against the drust. I guess they're not bones; they're stones. The Waycrests have always been hardy folk, but the Drust magic was strong. We were losing the war. In the end, it was our scholars that turned the tide. 
We went to Drenor and we found some Arakoa, and shockingly, the dress had their skeleton for some reason. Wait, look out! Oh, well, here he's gone. He fell into the floor, so he is no longer our problem. Alpha is Alpha. Oh, he's coming back. And he's dead. Thank you, Warlock. I thought that one hit me for a moment. Or had me for a moment. As I was saying, the tide of war shifted when our scholars began to uncover weaknesses in the Drust's magic. They compiled what they learned into a treatise on weapons and tactics that could be used to defeat the barbarians. They kept that knowledge hidden here, safe from unwanted hands. Hmm, looks like the rubble blocks the way. Can you clear it? That's what she said. She definitely said those exact words. Wait, something's not right. Warlock behind you! Oh! Stonebound Guardian. Oh, I think this is the first time we've seen one of these guys, right? I remember they showed them off at BlizzCon. Uh-oh. Right, right between your legs, you punk! Dust exhaust. Ooh. I hate dust. It's rough and it's coarse and it gets everywhere. I've never seen a construct that big before. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good, girl. What I'm saying, of course you're alright. I can see it takes more than a few stones to bring you down. Come on, the book should be in here. What is this portal here for? Here it is! The last resting place of the Order of Embers. Are you ready to revive ancient history? Yay, some new information! Something fun to do! Who would have thought that this stuffy little chamber would ri would would rise as some of the greatest warriors of House Waycrest history? Are you prepared to follow in their footsteps? The Order of Embers! The Order of Embers was the name given to those who took up arms against the Drust. Using tools and methods uncovered by the scholars, they were able to, to counter the Drust's magic and ensure victory in the war. If the Coverns want to use the Drust's magic against us, then we'll use the Order's weapon against them. The knowledge of the Order rests here, but without a good hand to wield it, it will do us no good. Will you be that hand, Warlock? Will you revive the Order of Embers? Okay. So I guess the, the witches aren't actually the Drust. The witches are just using the Drust. I have been saying that mistakenly in the last two episodes. See you later. If you're prepared to follow the path of the Order, take up the book. Okay. The knowledge within will grant you, as well as our forces, the edge needed to destroy the foul coven that plagues our land. Alright. Thus is reborn, the Order of Embers. Now then, I believe we have some witches to kill. It's called the Tome of Silver and Ash. An ancient treatise on how to combat the magic of the Drust. How are you? What say you? You do great honor to my family, Warlock. The most noble of Waycrests were the Inquisition Inquisitors of the Order. It's only fitting that it is now you who takes up that mantle. Let us take the high road. Let's continue to high pass. It will take some time to parse the knowledge of the tome and train some more inquisitors to our cause. If the order's weapons are as effective against the coven as they were against the Drust, we may stand a chance of rescuing my family and restoring this land to its former glory. I will make my way there on foot until we meet again, Warlock. Safe travels. Our work here is done, Necroxus. I'll meet you at Aram's Strand. How do I even get there? Yay, I have a staff that... Looks exactly... Oh, no, I'm not using an offhand anymore. I'm not using a staff again. Hooray! Um... So it's over there now. We're going to High Pass. I hope we can save your mother and father, Lucille. Um, I kind of know what happens to them, so I don't... <laughs> it's hard for me to comment on that. Oh! Oh! Oh, my! We almost saw through the world. We almost saw the Matrix. That would have been too much for us. Where do I go to get there? Is there a path? Nope. Is maybe up this way through here? Um. Yeah, it looks like there's a path going there. We can just get through the Yeti. I have not actually been to this side of the of Dressfar. What is in here, actually? Just a rare mob. I don't want to do that. Ancient sarcophagus. Probably just summon some dude. I'm noticing... Oh, it's really such a double-edged sword. I'm noticing that I'm fighting myself not even... Ooh, Arathor's Embrace. Interesting name. 
I'm not even bothering with, like, bonus chests now because they don't have artifact power and they just have, like, random shit to sell. But, don't make that seem like artifact power is good. I think that is arguably the worst feature of Legion. So I'm really... Like, I feel like I have no desire to get the chests anymore unless they're all going to have Azurite. But none of the chests that I've gotten thus far, zero, have had Azurite. So, I don't know. It's a weird... They, they forced this stupid uh, currency on us in the last expansion, and now they, without, now when it's gone, it kind of makes, I don't know, it kind of makes the chess useless. Oh, hey, finally a big-ass town! Ooh, Aram's Strand. Looks pretty cool! Let me get to my flight path, please. Here it is. Jess Albury. Do they live here, or is this just a big town? The Waycrest, that is. What can I do for you? Maybe they do. There are guards out here. I know you're trying to help, but you must stop these adventures of yours. It's dangerous out there. You don't understand, Marshal. Their knowledge we've unearthed could be the key to saving my father from the coven. I wish I had your faith, Lucy, but I think it will take more than ancient legends to eliminate this threat. I'm just going to call her Lucy. I keep struggling with doing that anyway. So, your name is Lucy. Also, why have you never talked about your mother once? Hmm. Hello. I'm glad you've made it, Necroxus. We'll need to get started right away if we want to use this knowledge in the tome to fight the coven. A lesson in witch hunting. While I appreciate the dedication that went into compiling this tome, this thing reads like an engineering instructions for a siege engine. I'll need some time to comb through this information for anything that might be useful to us, so I wouldn't mind some assistance if you have a moment. For starters, I could use some more light in here. See you around. Light the candles. It says here that the Order used special weapons against the Drust to counter their dark magic. If my theory is correct, then whatever they use could also disrupt the Coven's magic. Let me see if there's something here we can try. No more words? Light the candles. Am I missing one somewhere? Uh, oh, on the desk. Much better. Could you do me a favor and jot this down? My notebook is here somewhere, literally right next to you. Okay, Rowan wood? No, that doesn't grow here. A chemical fire! Oh, if only Master Ashton were here, he would have a field day. I'm not sure what Wargsbane is, but wait, what's this? I don't know, you're phasing it out of existence. Warlock, I need you to find my sewing kit. It should be somewhere in my bag over there. Uh, here it is. The tome mentioned that the Inquisitors of old would use weapons of silver to disrupt the magic of the dust. If the coven wields similar magic, they may be vulnerable to silver as well. Oh, she is uh, fading in and out of uh, our reality. You need something? Did you find it? You found it! Excellent! Lucille produces a long sewing needle from the kit. You look confused. Let me explain. I'm going to sew you up with, uh... I'm going to sew a bunch of silver into you, so then you can ward them off. Easy. I have reason to believe that the Coven has already infiltrated High Pass. There are many unfamiliar faces here with the refugees from Corlane, and we know they can use magic to appear like one of us. This needle is fashioned of solid silver. If these witches are indeed vulnerable to silver, then a prick from this may be enough to break their spell. The refugees may not be too keen on this being prodded, but they must understand that this is for the good of the town and possibly all of Justvar. Have a good one. Marshal, we may have found weapons to use against the Coven. We will need able-bodied soldiers to wield them. We have many capable troops stationed around here, milady. They will make fine recruits for your Order of Embers. We are literally remaking uh, the Inquisition from Dragon Age. Also, this guy looks pretty badass now that I've gotten a good chance to look at him. King's honor, Changing of the Guard! I have no doubt you're quite a capable warlock mainlander, but we'll need some help if we want to make it to Waycrest Manor in one piece. A small group would be ideal, strong enough to face the Coven's threats, but small enough to remain largely unnoticed. Reed produces a bunch of bun a bundle of letters. I have written new orders to some of my finest soldiers to join the Order of Embers. They will report to you and Lady Waycrest. Please deliver these uh, to them so they can be prepared, prepared to move out. Honor, Reading apparently is getting increasingly harder the more episodes that I do in one sitting. Implements of ill intent. It looks like some careless witch made a poor attempt to hide this grimoire from sight. No good could come of leaving the possession of the coven for a hapless villager to find. It would probably be a good idea to destroy any trappings of the coven that you find in High Pass. 
Isn't... Am I crazy, but isn't High Pass also the name of the fucking town in Twilight Highlands? I think it is, right? I, I, in the back of my mind, something has been like, High Pass, that sounds weird. Hey there. Why would it sound weird? I think that's true. Poke you in the butt! Oh god, there's a witch. <laughs> Watch all of them be witches. It's like, well, this town's fucked, let's just burn it to the ground. Hey, a map! Among her possessions, the witch carried a crudely drawn map of High Pass, a symbol of what looks like an entrance to a cellar beneath one of the buildings. If this location is important to the coven, it might be worth scouting out. Good day to you. I'm gonna poke you in the butt, girl. Bang. Ouch! What in blazes Good was that for? Aha. Of course they would hide as males. Because they're all women. Oh, I guess not. The blood flies are really biting today, aren't they? Hey there. I'm gonna poke her in the back. Take this! Ouch, hey what in blazes was that for? Oh, there's a fetish right here. Get him! Aha! You will fall before the mother! So who's the mother? The mother's just gotta be the leader, right? You need something? And poke. Oh, another one. Alright, I'm going to go do all of these and I'll see you when we get to the cellar. Alright, I'm back. And I found the cellar. It's in here. Let's see what's going on down here. Suspicious refuge. I wonder if you're a How witch. You? What are you doing here, Maylander? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, what the fuck are you doing down here? See you around. So you found us out. You might think yourself so clever. No matter. Soon my discovery will. Soon your discovery will die with you. Attack my pets, Sister Littlefield. Whatever. They're all dead. And that one's dead, and that one's dead. You're strong, but you will fall through the coven like everyone else! I already killed like four of your sisters. I don't know what you're playing here. But I was promised greatness. Alright. Sorry about that hard cut there. My head had a problem. <laughs> Suffice it to say. Alright, we finished our quest. We got turned all our got recruited all the people, burned all the things, found out the cellar. Hey there. So here we go. Actually I want to talk to So these are our people. I didn't show them on camera because I really didn't give any reaction, but we have Falconer Notley, he has falcons. Um, he made one comment that the that apparently the Drustvar people are good falconers, um, but because of the curse, they haven't they don't have many left. But the, he still has one, or he what still has a couple. So he's pretty cool looking. Look at his weapon; it looks really dope. I love the little anchor at the bottom of all their weapons. It's like a oh, oh I thought it was a gun as well. I thought it was like a gun axe. That would have been awesome. Then we have this lady who looks like a badass ensign mace. She has a really cool-looking sword. Another person with a sword. This is Captain Joan cleared on. Light be with you. And then we got hey there. Ensign York with a badass crossbow. Greetings. And Lieutenant, Lieutenant Sternhide, who is huge, super tall, and very robust. And he just overall looks like a fucking bamf. So let's turn our quest in. Greetings. It's with reluctance that I must hand command of these men over to you, but it must be done. I hope you lead them well. Careful. Hello. All right. It worked. I knew we were right on track. It's too bad we don't have a stockpile of silver weapons lying around, but I think I know how we can deal with that. Let's turn these in first. You found their leader. Excellent work, Warlock. The people of High Pass will be safe now. Or will be safe now that you've so thoroughly dismantled the Coven's machinations here. Machinations, machinations, I've heard both pronounced, I still don't know which one's correct. Before we leave, I have one more task to ask of you. While you were busy recruiting our Inquisitors and driving the Coven away from High Pass, I took the liberty of placing an, an order, pla of placing and order, okay, that's not correct, with the local tailor. Using some of these sketches with the tome, I had them put together some uniforms reminiscent of those worn by the Ancient Order, since you will be leading the Inquisitors. Ah, that's cool. I, th I think it's only fitting that you present them with their new regalia. These were the words of induction somewhere in the tome. Ah, here we are. Brothers and sisters, today you become the searing fire that burns away the darkness. Today you become the shining blade that cuts through the wicked. Today you become the beacon of hope against the endless foe. By the authority of House Waycrest, I name you Inquisitors of the Order of Embers. How are you? Um, also, I forgot to turn this in. As well. Safe travels. Um, so what am I... Oh, I have them already. I'm just giving them to them. Alright, cool. 
I hope you look cool. What can eh, I do for you? You didn't really change much. King's honor, friend. Okay. Oh! Oh! She got huge. Hello. She got fucking huge. <laughs> okay hey there. Yours were magically enchanted to add 200 pounds. It's okay, a lot of it's muscle, so it's fine. Before we depart, I'll need someone to undertake a special task for the order. Is it going to be me? Any recommendations, Marshal? Captain Cleardon, excuse me, Inquisitor Cleardon is as reliable as they come. I'm sure she can handle anything you need her for. Thank you, sir. What do you require of me, my lady? If we wish to defeat the Coven for good, we'll need more weapons of the order. The tome contains a recipe for alchemical fire, but we have no one skilled here enough to craft it. Craft it. Or fortunately, I know of an expert alchemist in Falconhurst to the south. The woods are treacherous, so you need to travel there along the mountains, the old mountain roads. I just can't read today. Bring this recipe to him and return with his creations. Yes, ma'am. Bring us some wildfire, giant lady. The rest of us will prepare for the ride to Corlane. Marshal, I understand you have a plan of attack. Yes, we ride out on the mainlander's command. Oh, they're inquisitors now. Their titles changed. Cool. Good day to you. Can I get the title of inquisitor? Do I get it? I want to be an inquisitor. That's a fucking awesome title. I can't believe that's not in the game yet. There, that's nice and official. Now I think it's time we took the fight back to Heartsbane. To the Heartsbane. I believe the marshal has a plan. Uh, this one. See you around. Need help. The road to Coraline. Lord and Lady Waycrest lay trapped in Waycrest Manor. Before we can reach them, however, we must brave through the city of Coraline, which is firmly in the grasp of the Heartsbane. Our first course of action should be to set up a, up a forward outpost. Our scouts have found that the Tower of Watchmen's Rise is only lightly guarded. I recommend we take the tower from them. This is now your command, Warlock. Say the word, and we ride. The Alliance. For the Alliance, indeed. Uh. Oh, I'm just going with them. Okay. Just, oh, hi. Necroxus, if you have a word with you, I'd like your assistance. Please. Okay, I guess I'm just going to help you anyway. Lady Waycrest has entrusted me with securing the town of Falconhurst and the services of Master Alchemist Ashton, who lives there. However, I found out no one has heard from Falconhurst in some time. The skies above the forest are impassable, so we must travel through the old roads, through the Druss ruins in the mountains. A small, capable party has a better chance to bypass the growing forces of the witches and help to secure Master Alchemist Ashton. To that end, I ask you to assist me. Be careful. We have not a moment to waste. Falconhurst hasn't been heard from in days. Where do I go? I will meet you there. Good luck on your horse. I'm sure you can do it. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go this way, yeah? I guess let's do her thing first. It's not really a side quest because we still need to do it. So I guess it's... Or so because we still need it as part of the storyline, so... I guess we're a little... It's not as bad on the side quest. Cold turn. What the fuck is going on here? There are ghosts fighting bone warriors. All right. You need something. Something has disturbed the spirits. The spirits of the departed still fight with our const with constructs and the shambling dead. Our goal is Falconhurst, but a quick investigation of the area might help us fight our foes better. Safe travels. Oh great. There's an opportunity here. Learning about the dress can not only help us understand the text that Lady Lucille found. But we might be able to discover greater details about how they and their constructs were finally defeated. Filling in the gaps of history could be key to the victory now. This was one of their settlements before it became the place of their final defeat. Let's look for clues in the ruins. And dismiss Ten's uh, weary spirits. Some of the spirits in the battlefield are too weary to go on. These were brave cult tyrans. They have more than earned their rest, but their sense of duty holds them here. Order the most weary spirits off the field of battle. Hopefully they'll be convinced. Light bless you. King's and I own. assume the last quest that we're about to get here is to kill a bunch of them. What can I do for you? Yeah. The ghostly captain continues to fight as she speaks, once more locked into the heat of battle, unaware the war has been over for centuries. What are you doing standing around? We've got ground we've <laughs> Reading! We've ground them to their down to their final warriors and those damnable runic construct, but the war isn't over yet. Colonel Waycrest leads us to hold needs us to hold this line, kill as many of those runic warriors as you can. We might see the end of this war today. Get back out there. Have a good one. Um, she thinks we're part of the militia. Well, if we follow the orders, none of the constructs will ever make it to Adam's stand. Let's help out. Um, okay. I'm gonna kill and 
Oh, there's another quest down here first. Alright, let's I'm see what this one is. Tarnished Blade. The Drust Warrior was felled by a silvered blade long ago. This blade's still good despite the ages. Perhaps these weapons could be brought into the service to fight the Drust once more. Get a bunch of weapons. I'm gonna do all these things and uh, hopefully not get killed by this elite and then we will. I will see you at the stone so we can learn the lore. Alright, I'm back. I've killed all the things, saved all the people, collected all the things. Here's the first stone. Oh, it actually says it's the fifth stone. <laughs> Oops! I guess the fifth st <laughs> first stone's up here. I wondered why it said fifth stone. Trust me, I am a smart... I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am a smart. Let's kill this guy. Oof. Oof. Give me a break, everyone. I've been recording for like four hours. It seems as if the cult Hurons in this steel, steel are civilians? Sailors and some farmers. Wait. This is showing one of the early cult Hurons settlements. One of the lost settlements. When we landed, we tried peace, but the Drust went to war immediately. Only a few tolerated new neighbors. But this... They glorified the slaughter. The cult Hurons don't even have weapons. This is going to be a really weird cut. Sorry, everybody. Um... The quests were bugged for quite a while here. This one specifically, the pieces of history. So, I believe I figured it out. The quest was just directing you to the wrong place. And if you clicked on one of the wrong stones in the wrong order, then the whole thing broke. Um, I turned the other quest in, they basically were just like, Hey, thanks, wow, thanks a lot. Um, now, everyone, now we can be at rest and blah blah blah. Um, so we saw this first one already. And while it directs you down to go down here, the second stone is just out of reach of your spawn so you can see it over here so that's where I was having trouble and I clicked the fifth one and it broke the whole thing so here we are let's kill these guys real quick I was a little worried because uh, you need to complete this quest to pass on to uh, complete this quest to um, continue the story down here so let's go to the second stone it's a victory over another cult here in settlement the large figure in the center is their legendary leader I think General, a king? What? What do we got? Interesting that we don't see any of their constructs taking the field. Hmm. Is the history going to be that they built the... The cult Hurons built the constructs and they turned... They used their magic somehow to turn it on them or something? Alright, so now we need to get the third one. Not the fifth one! The third one! We don't need the fifth one. Is the one over here the third one? Yes, it is. Cool. So here we go. Let's clear all these guys out real quick. Everyone that we are... Everyone that we are, uh... Engaged with! Real fast. There they go. And... You're done. Next one. The third piece of history. Ha! And here we are fighting back. Even their leader is withdrawing from the field. That's gonna be it, isn't it? The cult are the ones who made the constructs. Or it was their magicians who did it first, and then the dress copied them? Hmm, maybe. I still don't know yet. Fourth stone! There's a stone- yeah, down here there's a stone. This is the fourth. And then the fifth one will actually be the fifth one, and we won't have to break the whole quest chain. Kill these two real quick. There they go. More Azurite, which does nothing so far. This is clearly Gorak Tol, their greatest leader. Ah, he's leading a ritual to create the stone constructs. Okay, well I guess they did. And here's where the constructs begin to take the field. He'd run out of a, he'd run out of living warrior, so he created a new army. Gorak Tull. Interesting, I hadn't realized the constructs came later as part of his desperation to win. Gorak Tull. So is that why they called it Kulturas? Was it already called Kulturas when they showed up? What's happening here? Clearly the Drustvar is named after the Drust. Was Kulturas also called Kulturas because their leader was Gorak Tull? Also, are we going to have another storyline where he gets revived or something? Because that would be, um... 
If that was the case, that would then be almost literally the exact same storyline as the right cool. But, you know. In in defense of Kulturas, I'll say this toward the end of this episode. Although I'm gonna get shit on it for the last two days anyway, so whatever, but I'm enjoying this much, much more than the first two episodes, so take that as you will. This isn't Drust. It's a Kulturan carving carving over a Drust monolith. That's Lord Aram Waycrest when he was just a colonel leading the final assault. And there, that is Gorak Tull being stabbed by Waycrest. Histories of this event always say Lord Aram killed Gorak Tull and his army fell thereafter. But here you can see all his constructs shattering as he is stabbed and his power broken. There was some connection. But Tull isn't shown dead. Wounded and broken, but not dead. I would have expected to see his body carved in stone. King's honor. So he's not dead. Gorak Tull's death shattered his army. The carvings here all show that, but now I wonder, did Gorak Tull actually die? Ding, 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 ding. Drustfall. While I'm now certain about, while I'm now uncertain about the ultimate fate of Gorak Tull, other things are very clear. Ritual was used to summon the constructs to become his army, and his defeat destroyed that army. We have learned much here, but only one place we haven't investigated yet is a cavern with the ruins in the front of it. I say we take a look there before we move onward. Find the Drust leader there and defeat the Rune Keeper construct. That's it, isn't it? We're just gonna be doing Rykul 2.0. He's gonna come back. He's gonna be a, a, a dungeon boss or something. And here is where we have to go. Ooh, the ritual stone. I don't see anybody else in here. Except for these two guys who aren't just gonna let us do our business in peace. So we'll have to kill them real quick. It's fine. I feel pretty broken, so. Last one. Oh wait, oh we did have to summon this. I thought we were learning information. I wonder why they only spawned him in half health. It's not like these guys are hard to kill or do a lot of damage. I've fought two of them by them wandering into me accidentally. One on camera, or both of them off camera. Not exactly the hardest. And we also fought one in the quest chain, so hmm, interesting. Weird choice. The ritual space has been disturbed recently. Whatever is causing these constructs to rise up isn't here. But now we know where these things come from and that we can stop them. Yeah, you have to kill the leader and then they'll all die. To Falconhurst! Our time here was well spent. The guards at High Pass can handle what few Drust constructs remain, and I suspect the Drust leader and his magic might have some greater part to play here. However, we must continue on to the mission to Falconhurst. The path on the far side of the ruins will take us there. I will ride ahead and meet you in town. Go with honor. Um, this way? Oh, I just keep going on the outside. Okay. I'll do some scouting and meet you further, further down the path. I mean, we all realize that that's the, exactly what's going to happen, right? Everyone? Everyone watching this? Literally, the exact storyline is going to be that the dude's not dead, and we're going to kill him in a dungeon or in a quest chain. I mean, pretty clear, right? I don't feel like I have to be a be a lore expert to see that coming. How do I get there? Because I feel like I'm just jumped down this waterfall. I mean, whatever. Another path down here. Oh, what do I have this open for? I was going to get a new. Did I get a ring or something? What did I? Yeah, ring. Oh, this one. She said there was a path, but I decided to jump down the waterfall and said, you know. No one can tell me what I can and can't do. I'll jump off a ledge and kill myself if I want. That sounds really weird. Don't take that out of context. Oh, that's a cool looking bridge. Just a tree trunk. I see, I see, so the Dressfar is going to be a blizzard zone of let's make it really tall and really short in the same zone. Like, very tall mountain all the way down to the waterfront. Here we are in Falconhurst. Over here! Need help? The town's under siege! No wonder we have not heard from them. We must help! The town's overrun. The guard holding the barricade seems to be barely holding out against these monsters. If the number of invaders was thin, the defenders would be able to get their footing. Let's see what she can do to cut down the number of monsters in town. Some of the villagers have been so far twisted by the witches they cannot see reason. They are a little more than wretched beasts blindly following orders. Regretfully, we must end their torment. Slay these hex-thralled villagers so we can save their neighbors. Light bless you. Another quest over here from Captive Villager. How are you? Says, I'll, help you? I'll help reinforce the defensive line with the villagers I've made. I'll meet you there. 
The villagers held captive by a binding circle. Destroying that circle should free the villagers. Destroy ten See binding circles. There's one. Alright, so I'm gonna go do all this, and then we will uh, see what's going on. This place is getting fucked real bad. Alright, I finished. Here's the line. Let's see. I shudder to think what they would have used those people for. Probably make them more thralls. Hey, we leveled up. A regretful situation, but necessary. We did. We'll take our revenge on the witch who did this. Well done, you thin their numbers. Hold the barricade! The Crocs, as they're rallying for a heavy assault, I'm getting fucking killed by all the mobs. Why are they all attacking me? I didn't hit a single one. Jesus Christ. God, let's do this while we're defending. Holy shit, man. I'm gonna need to do this or I'm dead. Like, I'm dead right now. Why? I'm gonna die. Okay. Alright, I'm back. I died, but I'm back. We're holding a line from another defense mission. There's a lot of defense missions in this. Is that the new hotness, Blizzard? You guys are liking these defend missions? We've done three already. That's fine. That's a, I don't really have a problem with them. It's just weird. So many in one zone. Alright, so those guys are dead. I need a target. Let's just kill them all. Alright. Not exactly super hard. The Void Walker's taking the pounding now. I'll heal him up some. And then heal myself. I'm not gonna use Cataclysm yet. We use Cataclysm on the next wave. Here he comes, the Siege Breaker. Get him! Now let's just use it. Help us farmers with your pitchforks. Stab that bitch for me. Do as I say, for I have stopped Sargeras. I feel like our players rightfully should just bring it up every time anything happens ever. It's like anyone gets mad at you, bitch, I stopped Sargeras. It's like, <laughs> I don't want to kill the horde. Bitch, I stopped Sargeras. Do what I say. You need something? There must be someone guiding this attack. So long, sister. We've given the defender some breathing room, but these creatures will return. It must be directed by a leader of some sort, but where? The mansion on the hill! A witch could see everything from there! Go into the mansion and slay the witch! Okay. This mansion? This is a mansion? It's just like a big-ass building. Actually, these look kind of similar to the uh, the goblin buildings, now that I think about it. Um, like ones you see in like the goblin starting zone in Kazan. Um, interesting enough, we're going to be going back to Kazan in this expansion, so... I'm not saying that's a... They're related, it's just an interesting coincidence. Sister Noella Briarwood. All of the all of the witches have like wood in their name. It's weird. I wonder what that means. So are the witches are the witches just cult herons who are cults? Or have they been around as long as the drusts? I think that's I think that's what I'm still confused about, and we don't have an answer to yet. We have broken them! Come! We should speak with Mayor Royston. Alright. Uh, turn this quest in. Hey, Mayor, I did all the things for you. Are you happy? Good day, the healers dude. need to rotate out and get some rest. That means you too, Kristen. K Kirsten. You wouldn't have been able to hold out much longer. You saved us all. Building defenses. We'll be able to push those monsters back now, but my defenders won't stand a chance unless we have a forward barricade for protection. There should be plenty of lumber to build a barricade to the entrance of town. Safe travel. First, I'm going to get this. Also, there's like two build, two planks right here. We cannot thank you enough for showing up when you did, Lieutenant. Inquisitor now, Mayor. Lady Lucille has reformed the Order of Embers to combat these witches. She has? I thought they were just a legend. Oh, you're an idiot. They were real. They are real. Lady Lucille is determined to take our back our lands and our people. She does that, and she'll have my full support. But if she doesn't, fuck her. You need something? Oh, hey, it's the alchemist. Good heavens, they set that building on fire. It seems the bucket brigade could use a hand. Let me see here. Yes, here. It was an experiment in breath mints. It proved to be a bit too chilly for most people here in town. But you seem like a stout sort. Just be sure you're facing the fires when you bite down on them. I'm certain those fires will be out in no see time. You. We're going to breathe ice breath. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's just channel. Okay, so can I walk around when I do it? 
Like this, like, ha ha ha. Oh, I can't. Okay. So if I just go like this, that guy like, just walked into the fire. He just wanted to end it all right there. Apparently. Alright, uh, let's go get the last quest, and then I'll finish all these, and we'll skip ahead, hopefully, to the end, because this is a dang old long episode. In here. Lynn Sweet! Bramblethorn, I was playing with Lord and Lady Sharptooth when Papa made me come with him. I dropped poor Lord Sharptooth, and one of those big mean monsters grabbed him. Papa said he'd try to get him back, but he's been gone a long time. I think he got busy. Mama and all the adults are busy doing stuff for Mayor Royston. Lady Sharptooth and I are really sad. Can you beat up that mean monster and slave save my dino? Sure, I can, little girl. Anything for you, because dinosaurs are awesome. Uh, Lord Bramblethorn. Or Lord Sharptooth. Where's Bramblethorn? Is he in here? There's something in here. What is in here? Oh, it's just one of these things just standing up here and... I didn't even I can't even see what is happening. He's so big. There we go. How did he even get in there? Clearly it's too big for the door frame. Okay. I can't I can't like do anything but fight him out here. I guess let's just stand in all the AoEs because I adroid him and he got stuck. <laughs> Get him. Get him good. And he's done. There we got it. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of these, and then we will uh, see what happens. All right, we are finished. Let me turn the quest into the little girl first, actually. I wanna give her back her dinosaur. Hey, little girl, I got your dino. Dino DNA. Did you find Sharp Lord Sharptooth? I think one of the really big monsters has him. Oh, you, you saw someone, my papa. Lynn hugs her toy and sniffs. I haven't seen Mama in a while. I hope she's okay. No. Uh was it, were we meant to, was her dad's dead body in the room and I just didn't see it? Oh well. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know what that means. But, okay. Hello. Ah, wonderful, the fires are out and your breath smells minty fresh. Have a good one. What can I do? Thank you, we'll be able to protect our town better. See you around. Finally. How are you? Weapon of old! I've been studying the parchment Lady Lucille sent with you and translated some of the older language. They called it liquid fire and it was used to burn away the drust. Using this as a basis, I believe we can adapt it to our needs. This is a complex recipe, but it just so happens I have everything we need to make this potent alchemical weapon. I will need your assistance in creating this. Would you be so kind to help? Have a good one. I would. Hey there. See you I'll meet later. you at my place. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Aha. Oh, I thought we were going in the basement, because that would, is what about that basement would have been used for. Come on over here. I've got some work to do. Or we've got some work to do. I know this mini game. Pick, pick the right something? thing and put it in the pot. Safe travel. Excellent. I'll tell you what to add to the cauldron. Be sure to follow my extra instruction as the results could be explosive. Add him some sulfur. Watch the fumes. Sulfur. We got sulfur, saltpeter, sap, and hearth bloom. More sulfur. This is definitely going to be a daily quest. Is everyone ready to do this a zillion million times? Excuse me, a world quest. That's what they're called now. Some saltpeter! Now what's next? Come on. Hearth bloom. You've done some alchemy before, I can tell. Why, yes, my priest alt is actually an alchemist. 800 out of 800, I'll have you know. Add in some sulfur. Okay, minigame. If, if you even call this a minigame. What else? Some saltpeter. We have not used volatile sap yet. We didn't use it all, any of it. Excellently done! We should be able to use this against those monstrous wooden creatures. Ah, but do watch it doesn't Hello. spill. Wonderful. Smells a bit strong, but I think it'll burn those wooden constructs well. Now it's time to test it out. Fighting fire with fire. Excellent! Now that we have these lovely liquid fire flasks prepared, we have one last thing to do. Test them out! There are some of these abominations lurking in the woods above my home. I think they would make excellent test subjects for a little alchemical experiment, wouldn't you say? See you later. I think, um... This is a little dangerous to be using, like, fire in a vial in a giant forest. Just, uh... Just, just wondering. Get him! Oh, okay. So it doesn't kill him all the way, but it does do a lot of damage to him. 
So let's just aggro a bunch. Come, 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 come. I'll get you. 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 And you over there. And then we will do this. Here we go! Boom! Get wrecked, you punks. Got him. Let's grab that one over there. Turn off general chat. Uh-oh. Dang it. Of course. Of course. Do these guys count? Oh! Oh, it does. It just... It does, it does percentage damage. Were the words I was trying to say as I tripped over myself. This is just the episode where I can't speak. Okay? So everyone before this episode and after this episode, feel free to criticize me. I get this one. I get this one episode where I can't speak correctly. There we go, all done. I believe this is probably the end of our Falconhurst storyline. What can I do for you? Hey there. I tried to stop them, but I couldn't. They've taken Master Ashton into the woods. See you around. How did that happen? How? Who are the guards here? You're fired. Greetings. Into the Witchwood, Master Ashton has been taken into the forest. He isn't the only one. Mayor Roasten's head count also came up. How did the mayor and the most important alchemist get kidnapped and no one saw it? How have you guys not been killed a thousand times over? Seems our steps are clear. We must go into the woods and save them. Martin and I will sneak into the forest and meet you somewhere in the ruins. Son of a bitch! Whatever. This is going to be one day. Are you ready for an hour and a half episode, everybody? I don't know how much. I don't know how long this is gonna be when I edit it down. But holy shit, I've been playing this for what feels like an hour and a half. Okay, gnarled husk. Don't. I don't want to mess with you. Get away. Ooh, spooky! The crimson forest. It's crimson because of the blood. Here we go. You need something? The woods are crawling with witches! We'll have the fight in our hands if we're gonna save Master Ash. Oh, here's another bunch of pointless shit to kill. I believe I see Master Ashton in a cage. He must be free. These witches with the long masks appear to be in charge. I bet they would have the means to open the cage. I'll remain here to protect Apprentice Webb and keep the area secure. Balks! <laughs> Safe travels. How are you? I was able to study some of the wooden hounds in town, and I think I might be able to make something useful if I had more uh, bits to study. If you can bring me some organic matter samples from the hounds and some of the reagents the witches use, it would be of immense help. And if some hounds and witches should meet violent ends in the process, well, I know I won't be shedding any tears. Have a good one. Okay. Ooh, they have like, they have like plague doctor. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, are we gonna find the girl's mom? I just saw a lady with a quest over there. Maybe her dad died, but we're gonna save her mom. Ma'am, do you know your daughter likes dinosaurs? I don't know how, since there are no dinosaurs, oh, I guess there are crocodiles. So I guess my mindless nitpick complaint is technically incorrect. Um, Samantha Sweet, oh, this is her mom. Hey, I need to find it. Get out of here and get back to Falconhurst. My husband and I were looking for my daughter's favorite toy when I was taken. Please, I need to get out of here. I know where my... I know... I live at the above. I need to know my family is safe. They took my gear. It's all around camp. Get me out of here and bring, them. bring back my gear. Safe travels. Fuck, I don't need to get your gear too. God damn. Okay, yeah, you're out. Did I get a key for you? I guess I did. I need a moment. I've been trying to break this cage for hours. Good day to you. I, I freed travels. you. You free. I technically just don't have a key yet. I'm gonna get all these things and then we will continue. Alright, I have her stuff and I have a key. Come on, you're free. Got you. How are you? Here's your shit. See you later. The things I've seen. The horror. The horror. You got all your stuff? What do you what do you Okay, bye. I guess we're leaving. Alright. Let's go turn these in. I wonder if I have to do this question well to continue met. the main storyline. We've had a few visitors while you were gone, but I took care of them. Ashton's back and safe, though it appears he's seen some of the horrors here. Light bless you. Hey there. Did you have any luck? Hmm, very interesting and pungent. Perhaps my first order of business will be to something to remove that smell. Oh, fuck me. There's so many more quests. Thank you. I'll cut a path back to Falconhurst. They'll pay for what happened to my family. Have a good one. Jesus. I'm sorry to say they got your husband, but your daughter is safe in town. Be careful heading back. 
Thank you. I'm sorry I can't stay. Don't worry. They won't get me twice. The first of all, while we've been here, I've heard of one of the witches nearby. Dispatch her. I expect she will be at the first matron we'll face in this forest. I will stand guard over Master Ashton, Master Ashton and Mar Martin. Farewell. Okay, kill a matron. Hello. Uh, Master Ashton's portions require an easy-to-acquire component from the forest. Despite the foul witch's magic here, hearthbroom plants can use to grow in defiance of magical corruption. I'll need their petals to complete my work. While you do that, I'll mix up the base. We'll get Master Ashton back on his feet in no time. Bruin Potions. Master Ashton is in no state to speak with him. Uh, wait, what? Master Ashton is in no state to, state to speak with us, but I know a potion that will snap him right out of it. Um, I'm going to need some shit from the bears. Go kill a bunch of bears that have a low drop rate. I'm going to go do all that. All right, we finished that. Pointless quest that has a bunch of low drop rates. Let's kill this bitch now. And I'm only saying she's a bitch just because I'm frustrated and I call everybody a bitch. I'm frustrated with this. There are so many quests I've noticed so far that are like, kill 15 of these. Collect seven of these. All right, I'm back. Let's turn these quests in. Good day to you. Have Greetings. a good one. A grim but nece necessary task, Necroxus. All right. Safe travels. Hey there. Did you find things I needed? Hmm, they're a bit more shriveled than I would have expected, but they will do the trick. Did you find things I needed? Good work. These will heat the mixture just the right amount and give it a bit of a kick. Now to mix things up. Martin begins to combine the components in a mug. I'm using some rather strong grog as a base, a drop of chili extract, and a sodium chlorine tablet. There! Barton hands you a mug. It'll taste worse than it smells, but it will bring Master Ashton to his senses, please. See you later. Give him the mug. What can I do Drink this shit, bitch. Safe travels. Yeah! He just breathed fire. I believe so. Thank you, Martin, champion. We should get back to Falconhurst, Master Ashton. There are more pressing matters, Inquisitor. The witches are planning a grand rite to bring their master into this world. A master? A malevolent being who grants them their dark power, I have heard his voice in the dark. He hates cult heroes with every fiber of his being. They use captives as fuel. Even these witches are but pawns to his... It's going to be Gorak Toll, right? I do not know which entity they've communed with, but they mention the Drust. Not a Drust, their leader, I would wager. The being Aaron Waycrest fought against. A millennia-old spirit who bent, who's bent on vengeance, who wants to kill us all? Lovely. We must stop the Grand Rite. Oh, I see. A little bit less hearth bloom next time, Martin, but you did just the trick. There's still more to do here, guys. Oh my god. The witch is in charge, the matrons. Ashton shudders for a moment, then composes himself. They have powerful charms they use to control the macabre army of wood, flesh, and bone. I haven't been observing them. I believe I can craft an even more powerful charm, one that we can use. We're going to do the same thing we just did two hours ago, guys. Take this potion. You'll be able to weaken the matron, so you might have a better chance of success. See you around. Light be with you. Which way out? <laughs> Free the villagers. The witches of the Crimson Wood are planning a grand rite, a powerful ritual. They intend to rip open reality and bring their dark master through. I suspect they may be in communion with the Drust King. We cannot allow their ritual to succeed. I need you to tip the spear. I did. I need you to be the <laughs> destroy Light the ritual. Bless you. Why is this so? fucking long. You need something? Oh my god, I feel like I'm not... Oh, I just... I know I'm gonna get roasted. Just give it to me, guys. But holy fucking shit. This is so long and so boring. Like, every quest chain has a quest where it's like, kill ten of these. Every quest chain has a quest where you have to fucking farm shit that has a low drop rate. It's ridiculous. Is this the way they're gonna make this take forever? Because I'm so overdoing this. What am I doing? Here, use this on this. What am I even killing them for? What am I doing here? I've lost all patience for this garbage. Okay. I I know people worked really hard on this zone. It looks aesthetically great. It looks cool. It looks creepy. The vibe of the evil creepy forest is working. But Jesus Christ, the storyline is so boring. I don't care about this at all. I, I, I can't believe that they're going to do a whole zone on these dumb fucking witches that are stupidly boring. Oh, I'm going to do all this and then we'll see what happens next. God, I'm going to kill myself when this is over. I shouldn't have said that. But I'm just frustrated. My quests are done. King's honor, friend. 
Damn, we've slowed them down, but they're still working. To fully stop them, we'll need to do more. Well done. Not only did we save the innocents, we denied the witches fuel for the grand right. How are you? Were you able to connect ne and connect enough charms? Actually, I should be able to do some interesting things with these. See you later. Need help? In the Hall of the Dress King. I've been watching a lot of activity going on in the ruins of the base of the massive tree by the lake. What Master Ashton reported is accurate. Something important is going on down there. We've disrupted the rituals, but I worry we might have been too late. We need to go over there. If there is anything anything remaining, we must destroy it. Okay. Okay, why can't I? I'm not in combat. I am now, but I wasn't before. Like right now, I'm not in combat. I'm not in combat! Okay. I wanted to get there fast, because I'm sick of this shit. Let's kill these two. Uh, there were just lost mages here, by the way. There's a mage right there. And when I freed one, it gave me a time warp for like 25 seconds, and I don't really know what the hell is going on. But I guess let's just free him here. Here we go. Thank you, I'll be teleporting home. And this one gave me a buff. Oh no, and this one gave me time warp. Why are there mages here? What is what is going on? There, a door in the tree! Is no one going to mention that massive wicker golem? Because I feel like I should mention it. One crisis at a time, boy! Let's get it down in here. The shadow of Gorak Tull. He's definitely getting revived. Are you kidding me? How do I... Oh, I have to go down this way. This clearly is not yet completed, but it looks... It's going to look pretty cool, I bet. This kind of looks like um, Buon Zombie's little area that you guys are going to see when we do Zuldazar. He has a little area that looks like this. Okay, let's fight this guy, I guess. The Shadow of Gorak Tull. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't get resurrected. Yeah, here we go. Interlopers, you meddle in your affairs beyond your mind. Your well, what? Beyond? You cannot stop me from reclaiming what is mine. I'm being killed by things I can't. Oh, escape the chamber. He got revived and got away. Who is surprised? Not I, said Necroxus. I knew that was going to happen the second he was introduced into the story. Okay, we escaped. Come here, let me turn this in. Well met. We've wounded him or he wouldn't have retreated as he did. Our victory won't last long unless we do something about his army. Sick to him. We've been able to stop the Grand White, but the witches will try again unless we act. We have to destroy them utterly. Clear Dawn smiles. How kind of them to give us the means. You've helped us get this far, Necroxus. Control the Demolisher. Destroy everything you see. Once we finish, we can signal to get help out of here. Farewell. Use the greater control charm on a Crimsonwood Demolisher. Okay. We'll ride that monster out of here. This is it. It's right here. I want to use it right here. Am I not close enough? Is that what it is? Here we go. Yes! Get fucked, everybody! Kill all these witches. We can signal for an extraction at the high ground north of here, northwest, but we should take advantage of the situation and lay waste to their army. Kill these little bitches! Bang! Stomp! Totally done! Okay, good sir! Totally done! I shall kill you! Get fucked, good sir! I know that I just did this exact quest like two hours ago, but now I'm even in a bigger one. Bigger equals better, right? Let's stomp on these bitches. Kaboom! Let's kill this guy. Bang! Stomp! Skadoosh! There's a certain satisfaction in using the, co using the Coven's own weapon. I like it better when the earth, shake earth Shattering Stomp. When it does the Earth Shattering Stomp. I see. I think my, my lack of patience for this is what's adversely affecting my reading. Let's kill this guy. Get wrecked! Bang! Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm getting stuck. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck? Am I stuck? Am I stuck? I'm not stuck. Okay. Thought I was stuck. Okay, these should be the last of them. Boom! We should start heading for the ridge in the northwest. Aram Stramge will have a clear line of sight for our signal. 
Is it almost over? Please tell me it's almost over. Bang. Boom. Can we just like kill it by making it jump into the river or something? Whee! Griffin Riders, assist us! How do I Need do this? Help? Get the signal. Be careful. Get me the fuck out of here, please. There are Griffin Riders waiting for us. Flying over the forest is safe now. I just hope they get here quickly. Let's do another defense mission! While we wait. Oh, wait, never mind. Well met. The plans for the Grand Red are ruined and the ritual sites are in shambles. Master Ashton will be safe here at Aram Strand and we can finally send reinforcements to Falconhurst by Griffin. All in all, job well done. Thank you for your vital help. Farewell. Thank you for assisting me, Necroxus. I can t report total mission success to Lady Lucille. I shudder to think what might have become of me had you, not, had you and the Inquisitor not here intervened. I appreciate not being dead. The Order of Embers has stood, with, stood against Gorak Tull once again. With allies, we shall continue to stand strong. Fair winds, Necroxus. That's all for this episode, everybody. Next time, we're going to do more Culture House and Dressfar. I'm so hoping we're very close to the end because I can't take much more of this. Goodbye.